Hello everybody, it's Rob here, Rob Bidolf. You know what I look like by now, don't you? There I am holding my little sausage dog and I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from books like this one, called Show and Tell. It's a really fun one. Can you see this alien? His name is Zorg the Explorer. It's all about these kids who bring crazy, crazy things into school for Show and Tell Day. And the adventures that they get up to, you, maybe you've seen this book here. This was my second book ever, this one. It's called Grrr. And it's all about a champion bear called Bread, who, uh, called Bread? He's not called Bread, he's called Fred. He's a bear called Fred, not a frere called Bed. What? Stop talking, Rob. I don't know what. Right, let's start again. It's all about a bear called Fred who loses his growl. Oh, that was hard work, wasn't it? But today, we are going to do a drawing of one of the characters in my Dinosaur Juniors series. Now then, so, here are all the characters from my first Dinosaur Juniors book called Happy Hatch Day. Here they all are hatching from their eggs. Can you see? We have Otto, Winnie, Hector, Sue, Nancy, Martin, Wilf, and Boo. And today, we are going to be drawing Hector who is a woolly mammoth. Now, I have a confession to make. When I started writing these books, quite soon after I started, I realized that woolly mammoths aren't actually dinosaurs, are they? They came, I think they came quite a long time after dinosaurs roamed the earth. Like, I mean, millions and millions of years after dinosaurs roamed the earth. But for some reason, lots of us still assume that woolly mammoths are dinosaurs, but they're not. And now when I go to do festival visits and perform at festivals and schools and that kind of thing, lots of children, they put their hands up and say, uh, Rob, did you know actually woolly mammoths aren't dinosaurs? Yes, I know. But by then it was too late. I'd started drawing them. And do you know what? Also in those books, you will see that there's a Spinosaurus called Nancy who plays an electric guitar. I don't think dinosaurs played the electric guitar either. But you know what? Artistic license, that's what I say. <laughs> and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Right, so today we are gonna draw, I'm gonna show you how to draw Hector the Woolly Mammoth. So what you need is a piece of paper, something to draw with, obviously, uh, and then maybe something to color with a bit later on. Now you know how it works by now, don't you? I do a little bit of drawing here, then you copy what I do, then I draw some more. You copy, I draw more, you copy, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. Until we finished, we've ended up with a picture. Okay, now then, Hector here is a little bit of a tricky one. Okay, so you're gonna have to concentrate, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to do this one together, so don't you worry too much. We are gonna start with, we're gonna go towards the sort of, just left of center, towards the top of our piece of paper, I want you to start with a sort of little squiggle, like that. Doesn't matter how many, how many have I done? One, two, three, I've done five. They can be either loops or little lines. Just a little sort of squiggly shape at the top of our page, like that. Okay? So, a nice easy start, I think. Now then, this is where we've got to get our shapes pretty accurate, I think. What we're going to do is, from the bottom left, of our squiggle, we are gonna come out a little bit and we're just gonna curve down on the left hand side like that. So a little sort of curve. And then we're gonna keep going down but we're just gonna head outwards a bit like that. So we're sort of a bit like one of those bumpy slides. I think I've used that analogy before but sort of down and then we're just gonna curve around just a little bit. Like that. Okay? And then we're going to keep on going and we're going to start curving around again until we get to about there. So look, on in and out. A nice sort of smoothish curve, like that. Okay? Then we are going to change direction dramatically. We are going to turn around and we're going to start heading off back uphill, like that. Okay. Then, what I want you to do, so we've gone what, what's that, about three or four centimeters uphill. Then we're gonna sort of make a little corner shape and we're gonna come down and we're just gonna head along a little bit. Something like that. Okay, so we come down, around, 
we straightened up, gone back down, we turned around, we stopped there, come down, and we've gone along. We're going to leave that side just for a second because now we need to go back up to where we started, the right hand side of where we started, and we're going to go. This time we're going to go along a little bit and again we're going to just curve down and start heading downhill. We're going to stop about there. Okay. So you can see here my line, I'm using a, one of these Jirataki brush pens. You can see my line goes a bit thick and thin. It's not perfectly smooth, it's not even, but that doesn't matter at all. It doesn't have to be perfect. And don't. You probably saw that I went back over mine a few times. If I wasn't quite happy with the shape you could sort of you can just sort of go over it and you can smooth bits out and you can get, get back to the sort of shape that you want. But don't worry too much. It's all good. Okay, then from here I want you to come along a bit more and then we're going to start turning about there. So we're going to go relatively sort of straight downwards and then we're just going to curve and start heading vertically downwards. Okay. Right, let's keep going down. And we're gonna go down all the way down, keep going. We're gonna go a bit past where our other line finished, just a little way past, and we're gonna stop. Okay, now, should I tell you what bits we're drawing that might help, might you? Well, this bit here is, our, is, is gonna be Hector's ear. He's sort of got a bit of a floppy ear, a bit like an elephant's ear. Mammoths are a bit like elephants, aren't they? Um, and then this is the top of his head, and this is the front of his head, and this bit here is his trunk. We're starting to draw his trunk. But what we need to do before we finish this trunk off, which is going to come around here and sort of curl around, we need to draw his tusks, because woolly mammoths, they had these huge tusks that sort of curled around like that. So we need to draw that first, because that tusk, that tusk has got to come in front of his trunk. So first thing we're going to do is the base of the tusk, where the tusk joins his head. So from this line here that we finished, we're just going to draw a sort of semicircular shape like that. Okay, so we're going to carry on from where we finished that line up there. And we're just going to draw a little semicircular shape. And then from at the right hand end of that semicircle, we're just going to come down in a diagonal line like that. Okay. Then we're going to just change the angle a little bit and we're just going to go straight across that line like that. Okay. So I'm not, instead of doing a really smooth tusk shape, I'm going to sort of do it in a series of sort of straight lines. Because if you see, when you know, you can go to the Natural History Museum and you can see, you know, the skeletons of these things, you can see their tusks. They're not really smooth, they're sort of, <laughs> sort of funny, sort of jerky shapes. So, you'll see what I mean. So the next one, we're going to start curling around, but we're going to do it in a straight line. We're going to go around to about there. And that's so it's sort of a bit curved there, but sort of curved straight lines, if you see what I mean. I really am not making much sense, am I? <laughs> Hopefully you understand what I mean. From there, we're just going to curve around again, but then go a bit straight, like that. Almost to that sort of, so we're almost level with the brow his sort of brow there. Then we're going to curve around yet again, up like that. We're getting towards the end of the tusk now. They're so long, aren't they, these tusks? And the last bit, we're going to just change our angle once more and head back towards the head, like that. So this is kind of the hardest bit because we're sort of just going off into this space of the page, aren't we? We don't really know what we're doing. But when we go back with our tusk, like this, so we're going to do a nice pointed end. We're going to do a nice pointed end, and we're just going to sort of follow the shape that we've already drawn, so it's much much easier. But don't forget, I want this tusk. Basically, it starts quite fat where um where it joins his head, and then it stays sort of similar, but it gets gradually sort of narrower. So try and remember that as you're drawing back round. I'm going to keep this gap roughly the same. I'm just following the shape round. Right back round here. And then last of all, I'm just going to join back up where we started there. And you can see we've drawn this huge mammoth tusk. 
And that's probably, I would say that's probably the trickiest bit of this whole drawing. It's very easy from now on. So what we want to do next, let's carry on with our trunk, shall we? This is our nice swirly bit. You know I like my swirly bits, don't I? We are going to go from here. Imagine that line's gone through the tusk. It's come down here, and we're just going to curve it around like that. Start curving around, and let's keep it going. Let's keep that curve going. So it's almost like a circle to about there, okay? Then, because it's a trunk, we're going to You've got to imagine it's about that thick. Let's come down here, follow our line around again, draw the other side of his trunk. And then if we sort of stop there, and then just square it off like that, and you can see it's, it's curled around. Mammoth trunk, like that. Pretty cool. Okay, let's carry on. Before we go and do his eye, I think we should leave his eye till last, that's the fun bit, isn't it? So, before we do that, let's do the rest of his body. So, from about halfway down his ear, what I want you to do is just draw a little sort of curve coming down, not going out too far, and heading down like that. Okay, and that's going to be the sort of the curve of his sort of, well, I guess it's his bottom, isn't it? Let's not muck around. And then from there, we're going to just head straight down. And we're going to go just down to just past where his trunk goes. So his trunk is going to hang very close to the floor, but not quite on the floor. Whereas his feet, obviously, are going to be standing on the floor. So from the bottom of this line, I want you to just to come across in a straight horizontal line like that for one of his feet. Then we're just going to go up a little way like that. Then we are going to come from there, I'm going to try not to smudge with my left hand, from here we're just going to come straight across like that, to about there, so just sort of underneath where that curve finishes. Then we're going to try and draw our next foot about the same size as that if we can, we're going to come down to the same level, and go across, and then from here we're just going to draw a nice simple straight line back up to join up with his head. And there is a very simple mammoth-shaped body, like that. Now we can add a rear leg. So what I want you to do is just, just it's got to come up. We've got to come a little bit up from the base of that leg. Draw another little horizontal line, the vertical line like that. And that can be our mammoth's rear leg here. And then for this one, why don't we draw this leg just coming forward a bit, as if he's just thinking about walking. So we just go down and then we come in at an angle. So it's like he's just picking that left front left leg up as if he's about to start walking. There we go, it's a pretty good mammoth shape, isn't it? I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna add his tail. Now the tail is nice and easy. Coming from here, just the top of his the top of his bottom, if that makes sense, we're just gonna draw just a line coming down, hanging down like that for a tail. Tails are very easy. At the end of that, we're just going to draw a little circle that we colour in, like that. And then just three little lines coming off that. And that is going to be our mammoth's tail. There we go. We're nearly done now. The last thing we need to do is give Hector an eye. So, his eye is quite big. We're going to go, we want to draw a circle here. It's going to sort of sit down in this corner here. So from about here, just draw a nice big circular shape, just like that. There we go. A nice little eye. And then we're going to draw a pupil. You can draw his pupil right in the middle. If you like, I think I'm going to draw my, he's going to be looking up its tusk. So I'm going to draw his, draw his pupil top right, top right side of his. Like that. There we go. Oh, isn't he cute? And then he's a very happy chap, is Hector. So we're going to add his eyebrow a long way above his eye, just like that. Nice little eyebrow shape. And there we go. That is pretty much a simple woolly mammoth Hector outline. What do you think? So it's a little bit tricky this one because. You're sort of, it's sort of in no man's land for quite a lot of it. You're drawing these funny shapes 
and then eventually once that tusk is drawn everything starts to come together doesn't it at the end but until that point it's a bit like oh i don't know what i'm doing but eventually you stick with it and we get there don't we so there we go there is our mammoth oh by the way i should have said i don't he doesn't really he doesn't really have a mouth that you can see his mouth is sort of hidden behind this tusk you see but i don't think that that hinders his expression i think he's a very expressive um, character is Hector. So there we go, we finished Hector. Now it's time to do a bit of colouring in. Now Hector in my books is purple. Woolly Mammoth, he's a purple woolly mammoth, so I'm going to colour mine purple, but as per usual, you feel free to do yours any colour you like. And I will see you back here. 30 seconds or so. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> So, there we go. There is my coloured in Hector. Oh, my paper's gone all sort of crinkly. I think that's because I used quite a lot of watercolour on it, so it's kind of like wobbled up a bit, but that's okay. We can flatten it down again. So, you can see I've added lots of vertical lines to make my Hector feel like he's a little bit furry. There's another thing I've got to do. Do you remember my favourite thing? We're going to add a little bit of scribble just around the areas where his feet touch the floor. I'm going to use my my blue pencil here and here just under his trunk because it doesn't actually touch the floor I'm still going to add a bit of shading but I've just left a little gap and it just makes it look like it's just sort of hovering just above the ground like that and I'm going to do that very lightly just in between the front legs and the back legs like that and there we go. I'm even going to just kind of let them lightly there because I think that tusk would be casting a bit of a shadow. And there we go. We're pretty much finished with our Hector. Sometimes you might, if you've used coloured pencils and watercolours a bit like I have, you might need to just go back over some of the black lines like this. Just the eyebrow maybe. If you've gone over them, it might have just dulled them a bit and that will just help bring everything out a little bit like that. But there we go. There's our Hector. What have we got to do? The last thing, I might sign my full name today. Why not? Here we go. Bit off little kiss underneath don't forget to sign your name like that wherever you like on your picture and there we go Hector from Dinosaur Junior it's the woolly mammoth who isn't actually a dinosaur but don't tell anybody that <laughs> right so don't forget I would like you to take a picture of your picture and share it with me on social media using the hashtag draw with Rob or if you're watching on Facebook just get mum or dad to post a picture in the comments below and that way I should see it and maybe fingers crossed your drawing will make the grid at the end of the day. Now listen, I hope you've enjoyed drawing Hector with me today. I've really enjoyed showing you how to draw Hector. I want you to take care until the next time we speak, which isn't going to be long, a few more days and there'll be another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, I want you to take care of yourselves. Okay? Deal? Great. See you soon guys. Bye. Bye.